Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create stiff end base plate in Tecla old version, just like this. Okay, let's start. To open Tecla structures, double click on this icon on your desktop. Environment, you need to select US Imperial, Role Steel Detailing, Configuration Steel Detailing. Then click on OK. Now click on New Model. Let's take model name new model 8 and model template steel detailing and model type single user. Then click on OK. Now click on this 3D view. Then click on this arrow to open the 3D view. Then close this window and click on here and drag it. Then click on here to maximize this window like this. Okay. Now we're going to create column. So click on this icon, create column. Then click on here to place the column. Right click on must enter. To edit the column, double click on this column. By default, we have this profile is W16 by 50. Now we're going to change this profile. So click on here, select. Now click minimize it and maximize this W14, W14 by 53. Let's take this profile W14 by 53. Then click on apply. Okay. Then click on modify to see the result. You can see now we have this profile should be W14 by 53. Now we're going to change the height. So click on this position and let's take the bottom level 0 and top level 15 feet then click on modify apply ok ok now go to create stiff end base plate at this location at the bottom of this column so go to application components by using the shortcut ctrl f ok in search bar you need to type here 1014 1014 then click on enter you will get this component here you can see stiff end base plate 1014 click on here to see in thumbnails you can see you will get this type of base plate so select this component now you can see it's asking pick part so i need to select this column now you need to pick the position so zoom it and click on here to place the position to create base plate like this now close this window right click mouse enter click on space right click mouse zw now use the shortcut control r and pick the position here you can rotate like this with the mouse left key by default we have this base plate like this now we're going to change this base plate as we required so double click on this base plate now go to parts tab in parts you can see now we have the base plate thickness 3 by 4 inch let's take here half inch then click on modify to see the result here click on modify you can see now this base plate thickness should be half inch. Now go to anchor step. In anchors, you can control the anchor rod size. So by default, we have the rod size is the 3 by 4 inch. Click on here. I'm going to change this rod size 1 inch. So click on here and enter here 1 inch. Then click on apply. OK. Similarly, we're going to change the nut profile and washer profile. So click on here. Let's take 1 inch heavy hex nut. Then click on apply. OK. Now click on here. Uh, let's take one inch washer then click on apply ok now click on modify to see the result here you can see now this anchor rod and nut and washer should be one inch if you want to change the length of this anchor as you required then click, click on here and enter let's take six inch then click on modify you can see now this anchor rod size length should be one feet six inch Okay, you can see by default we have the grout at this location at the bottom of this base plate. If you don't require any grout, then you need to enter your zero, then click on modify. For example, if you require, then enter here thickness of this grout, then click on modify like this. Now go to both step. In both, you can control the number of anchors at here. For example, we're going to take the bolt size should be one inch and uh, Click on here. We require in the lengthwise number of anchors four, and the spacing we're going to take here four inch and seven inch and four inch. Then click on modify. You can see now help like this. Okay, let's take here five inch instead of four inch spacing. Then click on modify. You'll get like this. You can see this 2 inch indicates the spacing between bolt to edge of this plate. 
and this four indicates the number of anchors four in lengthwise on one side and five indicates the spacing between the, these two walls and the seven indicates the spacing between these two walls and this five indicates the spacing between these two walls and these two indicates the edge distance bolt to edge of this plate similarly we are going to change in lengthwise also so this two inch is the edge distance and uh, in width wise we are going to take the two walls and uh, spacing we are going to take here 4.5 inch then click on modify you can see now we have like this click on space right click on mouse to draw view and use the shortcut ctrl r and you can rotate like this you can see now we have anchors like this okay now we're going to place the stiffeners uh, for this base plate. So click on this stiffeners tab. Click on here and select this flange stiffener. Now we're going to enter the length of the stiffener 6 inch and width let's take 3.5 inch. Then click on modify to see the result. You can see now I have the stiffeners at this location like this. For example, if you don't require this chamfer at this location at the bottom of the stiffener, then enter here 0. Then click on modify. You can see now we have the chamfer at the top of this stiffener. If you want to reduce the stiffener chamfer, then enter here 1 inch, then click on modify. You will get like this. Okay, let's take 2 inch stiffener chamfer. So click on modify. You can see now we have the 2 inch in horizontal and vertical chamfer for this stiffener. Similarly, we are going to take the stiffeners at web at this location. So click on here and select this web stiffener, then enter here length. 6 inch and width 4 inch then click on modify you can see you will get like this now coming to the chamfer let's take here 2 inch on top side and bottom side 0 then click on modify okay like this then click on pass tab in parts you can control the thickness of these stiffeners for example you can see for this web stiffener, you can enter here the thickness, let's take 1 by 2 inch, let's take 1 by 4 inch, then click on modify. You can see now this uh, stiffener thickness should be 1 by 4 inch. Similarly, for this flange stiffener, enter here 1 by 4 inch, then click on modify. You can see now this stiffener thickness should be 1 by 4 inch. Then click on modify, apply, OK. Click on space, right click on mouse, you draw. You can see you will get like this. Okay, that's it about how to create stiffened base plate in Tecla old version. If you like this video, please like it and share it. If you have any doubts, please comment below. For more Tecla structure related videos, please go to my channel youtube.com slash SK. I will provide this link in the description below of this video. Please go through it and come here. Under videos, you can find out so many Tecla structure related videos. I hope these videos might be helpful to you. And at the top right corner, please click on subscribe button. If you subscribe, you will get notification or updates when uploading a new video. So please click on subscribe. Okay, thank you.